Angela from the blog AngelaMarieMead.com. If you're wondering how to stain wood white or create a whitewash finish with stain, then a white wood stain is a really great option to use. After researching what white stains are available on the market, I found three that are easy to find at your local home improvement store or online, and they are ready to go in a can. They don't require any pre-mixing or tinting. Today I want to share samples of those white stains on both white oak and pine wood. The reason I decided to use these two types of wood is white oak is a really popular wood to use a whitewash finish on. It also looks really pretty with a whitewash or white stain because it has a beautiful grain to it. And then I wanted to test it on pine wood as well because Pine is super popular and common to use, and it's easy to find, and it's really budget friendly as well. Also, my husband and I are currently making some DIY floating kitchen shelves using white oak wood. I was considering using a white wash or white stain finish on them, so I wanted to test out these different stains, and I figured I would share with you what they looked like. Before we get started with the white stain samples, I do want to mention that you can create a whitewash effect with a mixture of white paint and water. I've explained in my blog post, which is linked below, the difference between the two different techniques with whitewash paint versus white stain. Alright, let's get started with these white stain samples. Make sure to stir each can really well before using it because a lot of the white pigment settles on the bottom of the can. I used a pre-stained wood conditioner on all of the wood samples first before applying the stains. This really helps to prevent blotching and streaking. I'll link the wood conditioner I used below in the description box. Next, I used a lint-free rag to wipe the stain on and then I wiped off any excess stain off of the wood samples. After letting the first coat of stain dry for a few hours, I applied a second coat. The more coats you apply, the deeper your coverage will be and with these really white light stains, you really need at least two coats because it's hard to see otherwise. Another benefit of these stains is that you can use them over another stain color as long as there isn't some sort of sealant on top. Overall, I think all of these white stains look very similar to each other. However, I do think that the white oak boards take the white stain better than the pine wood. The white stain on the raw pine wood is really subtle as you can see. All right, let's start with Simply White by Minwax. I think that this stain darkened the tone of the white oak and added a more white streak kind of look compared to the others. It also is looking a little bit pink in addition to being a darker tone. And on the pine wood, the stain was the lightest whitewash look. So if you're going for a really subtle white stain or wash look, then I think this Minwax Simply White would be a good option. All right, next let's take a look at this Antique White by Verathane. I think that the Antique White made the white oak definitely more pink in tone. It didn't darken the tone as much as the Minwax, but it's definitely pink looking to me. I'd say that the stain did settle better into the grain of the wood than the Minwax did, so it does look a little more natural. For the pine, I think this antique white stain was the strongest whitewash look, providing the most coverage compared to the other two in just two coats. However, I think it's really similar to this whitewash by Verathane. Lastly is this whitewash by Verathane. And out of all the white wood stain samples, this whitewash stain on the white oak was my favorite by far. I think it really settled into the wood grain nicely and looked like the most natural whitewash look out of all six wood samples. However, I do think it also looks very nice on the pine. Um, it really helps to add that more white wood look and less of a yellow pine tone. Okay, so I know this video is called Three White Wood Stain Options, but I actually found a fourth ready-to-go white stain by Minwax. It's called Whitewash Pickling, and after ordering the first three cans, I decided not to use this 
um, and test it out just because these are also similar to each other but I wanted to let you guys know in case you did want another option to test out or look at. I hope these white wood stain samples on both white oak and pine have been helpful so you can see what they actually look like on real wood. Let me know if you have any questions or comments below. Thanks for stopping by and please subscribe to my channel.